guys, Waterfowler41 here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Magic Box 2.0. So this is a streaming slash wireless CarPlay enabling device that just came out from the company called Magic Brand. They have the Magic Box 1.0. This is their newer version of it, which combines both wireless streaming for Apple CarPlay, but also the ability to uh, stream videos from any of the apps below or anything you could pick up on Google Play. So in today's video, what I want to do is just kind of walk through what the product is, what it does, how I set it up real quickly. Um, it's already set up. I just want to show you kind of how to plug it in. I'll talk through a few things and then I'll show you some of the features that I've been using on this guy. But basically, uh, the real reason why I picked this up is one, I really wanted to have that wireless CarPlay. That's something that the Uconnect 5s do come with, but the Uconnect 4s, which is what I have, doesn't. So this gives me the ability to do that, which is nice because then you kind of cut the cord between your phone and the screen itself, but also having the ability to stream things to the screen. And there's a few different ways you could do that with this uh, tool. You could either do it via mirroring and I'll show you how to do that or actually using the apps on the device itself. Anyway, so what we'll talk through here real quick is how to set this guy up and then I'll plug it in and just kind of walk you through the screen in terms of some of the things that I've been messing around with. Before I get too far into the weeds, I do have a coupon code that the Magic Brand Company did set up for my YouTube channel. So if you use the coupon code WATERFOLLER41, that'll get you 15% off of your Magic Box 2.0 if you go ahead and purchase it through their website. Again, WATERFOLLER41, it'll get you 15% off of their website, which is a pretty good uh, chunk of change there. So any savings is good savings, so I figured I'd share that and I'll leave that down in the description below. But anyway, let's take a look at the device here. This is the device. So it's basically like a Wi-Fi capable iPad, or I'm sorry, Wi-Fi capable iPod. So back in the day, you had the iPod touches, uh, but this is the device that allows you to connect your phone wirelessly, either via Bluetooth or via Wi-Fi connectivity, and then wirelessly stream CarPlay or wirelessly stream apps uh, using your phone or whatever Wi-Fi as a hotspot. And then you have a USB-C plug here. That is how the power, or I guess the signal comes out of the device itself. And then what they do is they give you two cords that come in the kit. So we have a USB-C to USB-A, that's this cord right here. And then we also have a USB-C to USB-C. If you are going to use this, I know a lot of newer cars have USB-C, and I think that's just the general way the industry is going. But if you are gonna use this cable, be mindful, one end is marked with the USB logo. So I don't know if you can see that, but this end is marked. There's a USB logo right there. That's the part that you wanna plug into the car. The non-marked section is the one that you wanna plug into the device itself. For the sake of my video today, we're gonna to use the USB-C-A to USB-C. That's what I've been using uh, over the last few days as I mess around with it. As far as setting up the device itself, in the kit, you get a few different little short instructions, but all of them have QR codes. There is a QR code to help walk you through the activation process. I would do it on screen, but it requires you to have your order number, email, and a few other things to make sure that you activate your magic box with the website. That way everything can function properly. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in and then I'll show you kind of what the boot screen looks like and then how everything functions. All right, so we have the CarPlay device plugged in down here. We're gonna go ahead and turn the car on. Tar the truck doesn't need to be fully on, just on enough that um, you know it powers all the devices and everything. So our phone's already connected uh, to this via Bluetooth, so everything should automatically open up here in a minute or so. Um, it automatically connects once you've already connected it once. Uh, so as long as you set it up properly the first time, you should be good to go for any point in time that you use it afterwards. So let's give it a few minutes here. When you do use that device, you want to make sure that your phone is unlocked. So let me go ahead and unlock this guy. All right, it's connected, and we'll see the boot screen in a second here. There it is. So here's the boot screen. It's like any other screen that you have in a car these days. Basically says, hey, don't be doing any sort of streaming or watching videos while you're driving. We will agree and accept. And here you go. Here is the startup screen here. So this is basically the Magic Box desktop. Right, so this is like a an, little Android tablet sitting down here, and this is what we're seeing here. It's like a computer, uh, a bunch of different things that we can access. Uh, but the first thing I want to show you is how we can make sure that we're connected via Bluetooth. So you go into the settings here, and then you connect, you click this button, it'll turn it on or off. Uh, once you turn it on, it'll start to pick up any of the Bluetooth connected devices you have uh, or ones that you've already connected. Same thing with Wi Fi, you go right here. It says not connected. That means it's still on, but it's not connected right now. 
All right, so like I said, after you get everything set up and connected, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the gray settings option. You want to click on that. Then you're going to want to click on system settings here. And then you're going to go to version information. And this will allow you to check for updates. I literally just updated this thing this morning, so I know everything's up to date. But you need to have an internet connection here. So I would have to connect it via my hotspot in order to make sure that this thing can check. And then it'll go ahead and install the update. So I'm running the latest version. But that, like any sort of device uh, in this world these days, make sure you update it before you start tinkering around. The same thing goes for tuners and whatnot. Update it before you get into trouble. There's always patches pushed out for these things. All right, so now that we have uh, the latest version, we talked through kind of why it's important to do that. Let's talk about the wireless CarPlay side because that's really the one big feature that everyone's looking for here, particularly on these Uconnect 4s. First thing you're going to do is go back into our Bluetooth connection and verify that your phone is connected to the module. So let me go ahead and attach this. And you would do it just like you would do any sort of Bluetooth. So you go into Bluetooth here, and then we'll just go ahead and hit the magic box, and then it'll do its thing. See, so you can see it's connected now. So if I close this, and then I hit CarPlay, it's going to pick it up. Now that it's connected via Bluetooth, it says, hey, I found Brit's iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's thinking it's going to load it. Phone gets a warning, it says, finish setting up CarPlay. So we're going to super secret code, use CarPlay. And then ultimately, that load screen should show up right here. And here we go. So here is wireless CarPlay. Um, so this is all the things that I was looking at, you know, in whatever the apps that I had open, but we got wireless CarPlay, no cord. Functions just like the corded CarPlay. Um, ooh, Empress Nails, my wife had a nail salon appointment there. But functions just like the normal CarPlay that's corded, but benefit here, no cord. You can swipe through everything and move through everything. If you need to go back um, into the main menu, we'll go over here. If we need to go back to the main Magic Brand homepage, we'll hit Magic Home, and that'll take us right back to the main screen. So we right, went right back to all our existing apps. Um, so that's how wireless CarPlay works. So again, we go back in it here. You could bounce in and out of it if you need to. Let's just go ahead and hit, let's see what's playing. And we'll just, let's remember the late, great Tina Turner. So that's hot on Amazon Prime right now. And you can see that works. So everything works perfectly fine. Functions just like CarPlay should, just wirelessly now. So anyway, let's uh, turn off Tina Turner. And <laughs> turn off Tina Turner. Anyway, so let's go back to the home screen. So that is how you would use wireless CarPlay. And again, it functions, so you can use Waze, you can use whatever sort of GPS app you use in CarPlay. Um, but you could use it wirelessly now and you need to be connected Bluetooth wise to the magic brand in order for that to function the way it should. While we're already on the screen, the other thing I do want to point out is this cleanup icon. So there's a rocket here. Every so often, what you need to do is clear out all of the apps that are working in the background on these tablets. So if you hit that, you're going to get a little rocket chip and then it clears up all the memory and frees up some of the ROM so you could do whatever else that you're looking to do. So because we ran CarPlay and Car everything on here is basically like an app, you want to occasionally shut down those apps in the background that aren't needed. And you can see it tells you how much it cleared up once you do that. So that is how wireless CarPlay works on this. So let's talk about how we stream videos on the screen. Okay, with streaming videos, I told you you have really two options to use here. First option is you could use any of the apps inside the actual Magic Box uh, device. So these all come preloaded here. And then as long as that device has a internet source, so a Wi-Fi source, I'll use my phone here in a second. As long as that has some sort of internet source, you'll be able to function any of these applications. I haven't signed into a lot of them. Like I said, I just got this a few days ago. I was messing around with it. But let's go ahead and look at YouTube and figure out how to do that. So before we do that, we need to make sure we have Wi-Fi signal. You can see Wi-Fi is off right now. Let me turn that on, and then I will also turn on the hotspot on my phone. So once I turn on hotspot here, you're going to see this light up to blue because it was already connected in the past. And there we go. So now it's connected to my phone. So my hotspot's on, and you can see it's blue, so that's connected. So now what we could do is we could go to YouTube, and it opens up just like YouTube would on your computer screen because, again, this is basically treating your screen like a monitor, and here's your little computer. So what we could do is go to search, 
And I don't know, let's go to our buddy Steve over at Hammerdown Motorsports and see what he's doing on YouTube. So because I have internet signal here, I could get onto all these YouTube channels. So we'll go in, let's check it out, let's scroll down. You got any new videos? Oh, he's the lucky guy with the, the Ford Raptor. Let's go ahead and click this and it should load a video here. So like most YouTubers these days, we live and die by the ads. So uh, we gotta watch the ads here. Once that gets through, we'll be able to click skip ad here in a second. So this is important. When you are using the app on the actual device itself, you can skip ads here. And I'll show you why that's different once we get the mirroring. But here you go. We're now streaming Hammerdown Motorsports on our 2020 Ram. Awesome, good to see you, Steve. Looking good, Raptor's looking awesome. Maybe one day I'll be in one. But anyway, it operates just like regular YouTube does. You can pause it and skip, go to whatever you want. You want to go back, you just click right here. We can go back and look at all those other old videos. But anyway, that is one way of using streaming on a device. And again, um, the way we did that is using apps here. If you are in an app and you ever need to go back, all you do is tap on the screen and you can see this little icon here shows up. We hit there and we hit home. And it'll bring you right back to the magic box home screen here. And again, one thing that we're gonna wanna do every time, and you just get in the habit of doing this, every time you open up apps like that, just go ahead and clean it up. Clean up that ROM, free up some of that memory so you can keep doing things and it'll operate as fast as possible. All right, so now that I talked to you through kind of how to use the onboard apps, I could sh I'll show you the other way of streaming videos from your phone to your screen using mirroring. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is find the mirroring Chromecast. Oop, actually I already did it down here. So let me see what the name of that app is called. Whoop. So it's called Supercast. So what we're gonna do is click on that app and it's telling me this is the name of the device. So if I go into my computer uh, phone here and I click down, I hit mirroring. I could see that right there. And once I do that, oh, boom, I can see my screen on the, on the uh, I can see my phone screen on the actual radio itself. So now that I'm in there, what you could do is you can go to YouTube and let's close that down. And let's say I wanted to watch this music video. This is an awesome music video. So I loved you a little, it's a really good song. My kids like it. So if I hit play on there, and watch it on the screen, all of a sudden, instead of being on a small screen like this, it's gonna flip the phone sideways. So now you can watch the music video here. So one thing I said earlier, when you are using the YouTube app through the magic box on your screen, you could hit skip on the ads. When you are mirroring things, you can't do that. You have to hit skip on the ads on the phone itself before the video itself will play. But here we go, now we're still watching uh, that song. So anyway, that is how you would mirror any sort of videos. And that works for basically any video streaming thing you have going on here on your phone. You could do that on uh, your screen here. And I don't know. Yeah, see, it doesn't allow you to switch through. But anyway, this is mirroring your phone screen on here. And to me, this is probably the more practical way to do things because it's a lot easier to tinker around and find videos on your phone and then just let the screen pick up the video that you want to see and then everyone in the back can see it or whatnot. But that's two ways of getting videos to play here. Um, so let me go ahead and get everything cleaned up here and then we'll talk through the last few apps. But again, as a reminder, if you want to get out of this, click that, click the home screen, it's going to bring you back here. One thing you'll want to do is make sure you stop mirroring so that you're not sucking up any more bandwidth. And since we got out of an application here, uh, we're going to go ahead and clean up and just free up some more of that memory space. Anyway, let's talk through a few of the apps here. So let's go back to this first page. All right, so you got a little bit of a speedometer here. I don't know how effective this was working. Uh, I was driving around a few days ago. Uh, close down. I was driving around a few days ago, uh, and it was a few miles over, but I think it uses your GPS signal to track it. You have a direct link to Google Maps, and then you could use whatever the mu music player is on this device itself. All of these things can be changed. If you swipe everything to the right, this is like hitting control alt delete and going to check your tasks and everything. This is how much memory CPU and the temperature of the CPU and everything, uh, how much it's running on right now. So this is a good status for, you know, the health of the system itself. Um, swiping through, like I said, we got Supercast. Uh, you got a music player, you got Android Auto for the Android folks out there, APK Manager. Um, animation, that's just basically the startup screen and whatnot that you can't change too much in just yet. We got CarPlay here. 
Chrome and Google. So if you ever need to get on the internet and search anything, I don't know how much money does Mr. Beast make per video. That's where you would do it. Disney Plus, uh, I'll be signing into that one in a bit here uh, so we can watch some of our videos or whatnot or at least have access to them. GPS test, this is really kind of a health of your GPS signal on the device itself. Good to know, but just a little out of my uh, area of expertise. But again, if I want to get out of that app, I just hit home and go back. This one's pretty sweet. So this is just like a stock video uh, that you can have play. And it really does illustrate the uh, the definition, you're right? Like the capabilities of everything. And it's really just kind of like screensaver kind of thing. Um, so you got this video that you can watch. And then there is a few other ones if you want to replace. Uh, my kids like this one, confirm. This one's pretty slick. It's really just driving. Um, I don't know if you remember a lot of the old radios back in the old days had a lot of these little videos that would keep streaming and just keep on loop. Um, I had a Sony CDX M3DI that did this and it was pretty slick. But anyway, it's got some music to it. This one's got One Republic, I think, background. But anyway, that's a, another good feature. And again, if we want to get out of there, we just hit this little guy. That takes us back out of dynamic. Let's clean up the ROM, free up some memory. Uh, let's look at the remaining apps. So we got Google Maps here. Um, Netflix we can log into. Again, I haven't logged in there yet. You could use your phone through here. Google Play Store. If you want to download new apps on here, you can go through the Play Store. Um, Magic TV is the Magic Box's own app for TV, and you get a free trial once you get this device. Um, and then within settings, this is where you can kind of check on everything as far as things working properly. All right, well, that about covers all of the features that I've been able to play with in the last few days on the Magic Box. But again, the two big takeaways here are... One, this enables you to do wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto on your screen. Um, the second thing this allows you to do is stream videos using either your Wi-Fi hotspot or mirroring and have those videos show up on your screen. So I showed you that using the Wi-Fi hotspot, that's when I can activate these apps and use YouTube to watch the videos. Or the alternative is, and I just turned Wi-Fi hotspot off, so it's probably not going to pick up a signal. Um, or the alternative is watching the videos on here, but then mirroring your screen using Supercast on the actual screen itself. Uh, last few takeaways, make sure you're connected via Bluetooth so you could use wireless CarPlay. Anything else that you want to have function here, you need a Wi-Fi connection signal here. You can't have them both on at the same time. So when I'm in Wi-Fi car, or when I'm in CarPlay, Bluetooth is connected here. When I go back, and that's what this warning is saying, when I go back into this screen, any other app on here is gonna require some sort of Wi-Fi signal. So it's asking me if, when I return here, do I wanna turn the Wi-Fi hotspot back on so that it picks up my phone? I don't wanna do that right now, uh, but that's what that was asking me to do. Other big takeaway is after you get this guy set up, go into settings, go into system settings, version information, and instantly check for an update. That is all I got for the device for now. I'll come back and report out and some other things. Let me know if you have questions. I'm still figuring this guy out. There's a lot to be had here. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye.